Jason, did you hear that? That is not the noise that I want my car to make. Because I don't believe that a 2007 Honda Accord with 270-something thousand miles on it should sound like that. What you laughing at? And the front bumper taped on. <laughs> it increases the value. <laughs> I don't think that people tend to modify their cars to make that noise so that they can look cool. And once you have more than four strips of duct tape holding your bumper cover together, you can't look cool. That is my car making that noise because while I was at work two days ago, somebody came, jacked up my car, busted out a saw, and sawed off my catalytic converter. Now for those of you who've never had to price the cost of a catalytic converter recently, getting a new catalytic converter is about $1,600 and um, getting the labor to get the bottom part of your car fixed when somebody sawed it in half sawed a third of it off. That's Once somebody's taken a third of your car undercarriage off, it's basically sawing it in half. Low price was about $1,800. Um, I don't have $1,800. I think most people are not ready to just pull $1,800 out of their buttholes and or savings accounts. So at the request of my friends, I have a GoFundMe, and since I have put this GoFundMe on every form of social media except right here, here's a video of uh, me asking if anybody can share or donate to my GoFundMe, it would make a huge difference in my life. My apologies for the shaky hand, by the way. It just happens. There is a cycle, we, it's called, frick on a stick, my hands are so bad. The Sam Vimes' Boots theory of socioeconomic unfairness states that when you can't afford the good thing, you end up spending more money on the bad thing. So at the moment, I'd be in a situation where if I have to buy a car right now, because I don't have credit, that's gonna run okay for three years and then break. And then if in that three years of car maintenance, I don't have enough money to do something else, I'm gonna be stuck in that cycle of buying inexpensive cars, driving them for a few years, and then having to buy a new car. And with the help of everybody who's donated, I'm looking like I'm gonna be able to get out of that cycle and get like a big kid car, you know, like a used car with under 100,000 miles on it. That's where I stand right now is this happened at a really bad time. If this had happened two or three months from now, I'd be in a much better situation. But as it is, even though I feel terrible, like last night I kept going, I should just delete the GoFundMe. I shouldn't do this. I shouldn't be asking for help from people. Uh, but I had some people convince me not to. And so I'm just, here I am. If anybody can just share the GoFundMe, it's going to be linked down there. I don't think YouTube will let me put it in the iCards. I can try. That's the situation I'm in right now. It's not good. It's not fun. Uh, also, the state is on fire again. Backup car I've been borrowing and driving has no air conditioner. And we're in the middle of a heat wave with temperatures in like the 112 lens flare, Jesus, uh, weather. So... I can't drive with the windows closed because I uh, will show up to work so sweaty that I'm not able to work. And I can't drive with the windows open because the air quality out there is at, like in the hundreds. It's probably only at like 80, but it's still bad. Editing me here, I have no good judge of what temperature it is because it's in the 90s and not in the hundreds. It was in the hundreds last week. But also I have no good judge of what the air quality is because I said it was probably about 70 and it's 116. Those of you who don't know, in California, you can't drive without a catalytic converter because there's too much air pollution from the state constantly being on fire. So if you remember my respirator from the AX Edge unboxing video, uh, I have to drive my car while wearing that right now. So anyway, thank you. If anybody can give any kind of help, uh, that'd just be amazing. I've already received so much generosity from my friends. Every little thing is just added up very it's a whole ton of people who've donated uh 10 to 20 dollars that's just stacked up and so i'm picking at my eyeball while vlogging because of this it's just going to put me in that situation where i don't need to get in the cycle of buying terrible cars spending several you know years of savings on a bad car 
and then next time that that breaks, having to get a worse car and getting stuck in that cycle because I need a car to survive. I live 10 miles away from civilization. Biking is not an option. Especially not when the air quality is in the hundreds. I'm just so, like, I don't know how to articulate how exhausted I am from two days of trying to figure out what I'm going to do with my life. Like, just two days of, you know, yesterday I had to get my car towed from the parking lot and bring it back here. You know, day before that I had to make a police report. Anyway, I feel super awkward asking anybody for help about this, but everybody who's donated just a couple dollars, it's really stacked up. And so I know a lot of people out there who said that they wanted to help me, but they didn't know how, and that's why I set up the GoFundMe. And just sharing it has been really helpful too. It's just amazing what everybody's done for me, and I'm so grateful. And also, side note, since I'm going to be spending the entire, I have a Kitar fund, I had a Kitar fund, it's now part of the car fund. Um, and so since I have the entire Kitar fund is toast, uh, I will have to go back to posting actual music theory videos and Kitar lessons, which you guys have been asking about, but it's way easier to buy a lot of Kitars than it is to actually write a music curriculum. Easier to buy a lot of Kitars than it is to write a music curriculum until somebody steals your catalytic converter and then suddenly the music curriculum's a whole lot easier. So that's where we are right now. That's where we stand. It's not a good place to stand. Uh, thank you all for watching and have a nice night. It's 9 a.m. Have a nice night. But not to the exclusion of having a nice day. Lila, where's your mask? Lila, you can't go outside without your mask.